All right. This morning has been fun and crazy. Blake's home with a fever, but I'm so excited about this last 90 days and I've kind of been geeking out over trackers and just um, success habits and what this means for all of us who are participating. So I wanted to show you something that we are going to implement starting right away on Monday, um, the first day of this challenge. And I wanna let you know that the reason we're doing this is um, number one, so that you can have a you know rock solid um, focus right in front of you of what you should be doing every single day, um, especially if you are a list person who just likes being able to uh, feel like I have a weird audio feed. Um, especially if you're a list person who likes being able to mark things off, this is going to be great for you. And also if you are a person who just really likes prizes and competition and you're motivated by that, this is going to be great for you. So I'm modeling this after a, uh, a training that I paid for over summer and I really loved. And I saw a lot of growth in my personal life and my business doing it because we were forced to stay accountable to what we said we were going to do. Um, and if we fell below um, 70%, we got kicked out of the group. So we had daily habits that we were focused on as well and had committed to. And when we failed to check in, we were removed. Even though we paid hundreds of dollars, you just got kicked out if you failed to check in. The good news is we're not kicking anyone out, but we are challenging you to stay accountable and to really embrace this last 90 days and really embrace what you said you wanted to do with it and why you committed to it in the first place. Um, and we want to reward those of you who are, um, you know, working hard. So each week we are going to have a, a participation award. So um, coaches and clients both who um, have 100% participation participation for that week will be um, entered to win a weekly prize uh, overall participation for the month so people with the highest participation from for the entire month will be award any awarded an even bigger prize and then um, those of you who participate all three months with the highest participation score are going to get a really incredible um, gift and that gift is going to go beyond what you do in your personal life but it's just going to celebrate your success so um i'm going to show you how we're going to implement that and i ask that you would please 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 just embrace it and be willing to run with it and pay close attention okay so let's see oh, please ignore how dirty my desk my desktop is Hold on, I'm sharing the wrong thing. I need to share. Here we go. Um, Google Chrome, where are you? Oh, here you are. Okay, so I'm going to go to our group right now. It's our best last 90 days group, and I'm going to show you how to track this stuff. Um, okay. The first thing I would do is make sure that you pin this group to your shortcuts. So Facebook allows you to pin um, 10 groups. That way when you log into your phone or on your computer, you see them right away. All right, so um, in this last day, 90 days challenge, you're gonna find these when you go to units. So you're gonna click on units. You are going to um, click on the community success tracker here. And this link is an open Google Drive document. That means anyone can edit it. So you really have to be careful when you come on here that you look for your name. They're alphabetized in, um, by your first name. If you don't see your name, make sure you reach out to me um, so that I can get you added on there. Um, so far I've just added anyone who's in the group already. Okay, so this tracker is built off of Rachel Hollis's five to thrive things that she's challenging us to, and also some success habits for people who want to um, really focus on their health. So you see on Monday, wake up 30 to 60 minutes early and make time for you, you and your workout. Did you get your workout done? Um, did you drink your shake or a performance line? 
Did you um, get a quality social media post in and or share in your story? Uh, for coaches, we know how important it is to share um, our life both on social media and on, in our story. Um, but for those of you who are clients doing this, I really want you to think about embracing this as well because social media is a place where people go to be connected to one another, to um, experience community, to stay in touch. So if you can post something daily about your life, it could be about a recipe that you've used or something you're doing in this challenge, or it could just be a cute photo of your kid or your date night, or you know maybe it's an inspiring you know quote you read in personal development, or maybe it's, I don't know, should I wear this or that? It could be anything, but just being active on social media. Um, drinking half your body weight in ounces of water, so if you weigh 150 pounds, it would be 75 ounces of water. Personal development, this is huge. The video that we put out weekly from Rachel Hollis, that's 30 minutes, I mean, that's personal development. If you're reading Girl, Wash Your Face, that's personal development. If you're listening to a really good podcast, that's personal development. If you are um, you know, committed to a daily devotional, I consider definitely spending time um, in the word personal development. Um, if you are, you know, just reading a book about parenting because you want to learn some better strategies for um, disciplining your kids, that's personal development. But making time for personal growth is essential, and um, we want you to do that daily for at least 10 minutes. And um, we'll also provide some different places that you can get personal development from if you have a question about that. So sending happy birthday messages, this is just putting out good vibes. Um, Facebook luckily tells you when it's people's birthday. You might have birthdays written down on your calendar. Most of us know when our best friend's birthday is. Um, so really going to, like, I like to go to Facebook and see whose birthday it is that day and just sending them a message, even if I don't know them that well. But like, hey, Facebook told me it's your birthday. I wanted to wish you well. How are you celebrating? It could be super simple, but just getting in the habit of reaching out to other people and investing in them and saying, hey, I noticed you. It's your birthday. I'm celebrating you. Um, writing out 10 things that you're grateful for. Um, this is part of Rachel Hollis's Five to Thrive. It can be the same thing. So, um, and a lot of times maybe we do need to focus on gratitude being the same thing, but we can write it out every single day. So I might write that I'm grateful for my kids. I'm grateful I got to have a pedicure with a friend. I'm grateful that I stuck to my nutrition today. I'm grateful that I actually got up early. The next day I might write, I'm grateful for my kids. I'm, you know, I can have repeat things, but you do want to try to think of new things every day that you can be grateful for, even if it's as, as, as simple as, you know, I'm grateful that my five-year-old didn't throw a fit about going to bed. Okay, just write it, writing out gratitude um, and doing that first thing in the morning or before you go to bed at night, steering away um, from that bad food habit you gave up. So I want to spend a little bit of time on this. Um, you do not have to give up a whole food group, but we are challenging you to give up at least a bad food habit. So maybe it's soda, maybe it's drinking diet soda, maybe it's eating after 8 p.m. Maybe you do want to give up a whole food group and you're going to give up, you know, alcohol for 90 days, no wine, beer, you know, adult beverages. Um, maybe you want to give up sugar or at least give up um, sugar on the weekdays or something, but pick a bad habit in your life surrounding eating patterns or what your food, the food that you're, you know, leaning on when you're stressed and try and cut that out for this 90 days. Um, it could be an entire food group. Um, but like I said, it could just be a bad habit, um, around your relationship with food. Uh, okay. And then this is for coaches only. They're going to check in on these two things. Although I would challenge clients to do this because it's a lot of fun. 10 connects and compliments. So this is just looking for people in your life, whether it's text message or you see someone posted something on Facebook or Instagram and complimenting them, just giving them a word of encouragement with no strings attached, just doing it to be friendly, like giving out good vibes, really what you put out comes back to you. So, um, you know, if I see my friend got her family photos done, oh my gosh, you've got that dress on rent the runway. It's gorgeous. Like your photos turned out great. Or, hey, I saw that, you know, you had a tough, your kid's having a tough time in school. I'm so sorry. As a mom, that breaks my heart. Just really like relating with people and being a friend. That's where these 10 compliments and connects come in. So I'd encourage you to do that if you are participating as just a client still. And then coaches only um, two PB&J messages. Uh, they know what that is. So 
we have Monday here, you're gonna keep scrolling, then there's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then on Saturday, we gave you a little break where you're kind of staying off social media, but still checking in on a few things. And then I will lock this on um, Saturday night and go through Sunday and record weekly participation percentage. So it's really easy if you're doing this, you just find your name, you can do Y for yes, or you can write yes, then you arrow over, work out yes, or you can write in what you did, you can say you did 80 day obsession. You can take the notes that you want to here, it's your name line, you could write in just yes for Shakeology or the flavor, and you're gonna do that for each day. Just make sure that you are staying in your lane, right? So finding your name and just arrowing over so that you're only marking your box and careful not to delete anybody else's. Uh, I did say that we're not going to kick anybody out, but we're not gonna be afraid of calling you out. So if we notice your participation is dropping, you might get a message from me or your coach that says, hey, Becca, where you been? I saw you haven't checked in on any workouts and you know you said you really wanted to get healthy, like what's going on? Um, so make sure that you're using this and updating it definitely before um, Saturday evening, preferably daily if you can. Now if you are someone like me that enjoys um, having a physical copy and you do wanna be able to go back in and just update it you know, on Saturday or Friday night, then in that units tab again, you're gonna see <coughs> um, this tracker in a final version. This is a printable version. Um, let's see, pull it up for you. So this is a printable version of the same thing, but you might just wanna print this off, hang it on your fridge, put it next to your desk, take a picture of it on your phone, whatever, and then you can um, kind of check these things off as you go. I would definitely suggest printing this and having it if you are someone who is um, not super tech savvy and worried about being able to use the Google Drive. It is really easy, but if you um, are gonna have trouble accessing a computer or anything like that, print this off. That way you can take a picture of it and text it or message it to your coach so that we don't miss you in the participation poll. Um, so there's that option as well. Let's see. Stop sharing. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm really excited. I want to see you guys all engaging and um, staying on track with what you're committed to. And um, we definitely want to be able to encourage you to participate in those success habits and then reward you for um, staying on track and staying committed. So can't wait to do this. I'm going to be marking my stuff off alongside you. And um, if there's any questions between now and Monday or after Monday, just let me know.